What's up, so squad? What's up, so squad? It is hump day Wednesday. Hey, everybody, welcome to my kitchen. Welcome to my channel. If you're new here, please put a thumbs up. Um, leave a comment. I hope you guys enjoyed my video. Okay, you seen that thumbnail, and I know you're just like, oh my god, yes, we are making some what old bay honey turkey wings and we are doing it now i want to say we're doing it in this cornbread bowl i seen this thing on tiktok where this chef did a cornbread bowl so i'm gonna well, let me let you say this is not my idea but when i saw it i was like oh my god how can i get me uh one of those and i was like wait a minute i'm a cook I was like, oh my God, I'm going to go ahead and try this. So I did get this idea from another chef on TikTok. And yeah, it's a cornbread bowl. And it's, but I'm using Obey honey turkey wings. So yeah, and you could do it too, okay? But before we get started, hit that intro. get them the way I want them. And remember, we're going to season both sides. And, and sometimes with them being wet, to the paper towel right there. I got some more paper towel. Sometimes with them being wet also, they kind of, um, they do kind of help with the, um, Season is sticking to them. I got my oven on 350. So we're just gonna go ahead and get the season on them. And the first thing we're gonna do, because this is the first flavor I want on them, and I want this flavor to stick, is that we're gonna go with the old bay seasoning. And then when I decide to make this, all of a sudden, I ain't gonna lie, Andrew. And me decide to eat shrimps. I then and now I'm like, I got enough old bay seasoning. But yeah, it's enough. So these are called well, initially you got some old bay seasoning, but I got enough for what they call what these are. And I'm gonna flip these over. I was gonna do a rub in. I want to make sure the line got, ooh, y'all, how you going to do a recipe and you ain't got but a little bit of Obey, but it's all good because I can smell it. One thing I can say about the Obey, it goes along, I can smell it, Obey goes a long, long way, and that's why I'm going to go ahead and flip this side, it goes, it goes, season goes a long way. I'm gonna use what I got. And that's all she got. <laughs> that's all she got for her old bay season. <laughs> it's not even funny, y'all. Don't be laughing at me. But it's enough on here for you guys to get what I'm talking about, okay? So these are some old bay. <laughs> I'll laugh at myself because I'll never check my stuff. And I just say, I decided to make shrimp not once but two times. <laughs> And knowing I needed my obey for my recipe. Girls, I gotta stop making stuff make sense. The parsley flake is because I like the parsley flake. But obey, like I say, it does go a long way. And I it's in the air, I can smell it. So yeah. Put 
complete seasoning. I obey both sides as much as I can, but I'm just gonna season this one side of this. And some garlic powder. And then what I'm gonna do, is I'm just gonna rub the seasonings in the front and back. This is all my seasoning, just like this. So guys, make sure you got enough obey on that. But like I said, I, I, this is enough in there to help out this recipe. But I'm gonna double check my season to make sure I don't have any more obey. So let me double check my cabinet really, really quick. Okay guys, I'm gonna add a little bit of season salt just because I know my mama watching. And she'll be like, where's your season salt at? So a little bit there because I want my teeth. And then I'm going to add a little paprika. I got smoked paprika. You can use regular paprika. But just to help with some color. Yeah. That's two bags. All right. So we're going to go in. And we're just going to. I'm going to rub these seeds in here. And again, I'll put no water. I don't put no water on my um I'm putting my string beans on. And I'm gonna cover these up in number four because I want them to sweat out the water that's in them. But I'm gonna let them cook about an hour with full. Then I'm gonna take the full off and let them cook without the full. So this is our wings, our turkey wings. They put them in the sink, over, over by the sink. And we're just gonna let these cook. More than enough for the family. Let me wash my hands real quick. And that's what your chicken wings should look like. All nice and flavorful and everything. All right guys, cover this for full. Again, I'm going to let them cook for an hour. You see how they put no liquid in them because they already got liquid in them. I'm going to the water is already in them. I'm going to let them cook for an hour. I'm just full. Then, rubber liquid form. I'm going to drain them, flip them, take them out, and let them cook without full. And I'm cooking, and then I'm going to turn it up. I got it on 350. Then I'm going to turn the oven up to about like 375 after the first hour of cooking. So yeah. So this is going in the oven and we'll be bye. Okay. I got my stream beans in here. I clean those. Cut off the tips. Turn this on a medium low. I got this pot filled up with about two cups of water. And the rest, I'm using the chicken broth. It is two bags of string beans. Now, if you don't have a chicken broth, you can use like a tablespoon. I need some more liquid. Just add some more cold water to it. About. A tablespoon of um, chicken powder. I like my greens covered in water and the flavor. Garlic powder. So complete. I'm gonna put the top on those. Let those string beans cook there. Y'all just cut out some sweet potatoes. This video, I'm showing you what I'm making with it, and you guys can make what you want. But this video is all about those um 
obey wings. I meant to show you guys when I flipped them over and I took the little full off. So I, I gotta wash these off. I'm gonna stick them. I'm gonna stick them right up in here. Look and go up in there. Oh, it's just the back of the knife. The cut right there. And when I no longer could hold them flat, so I have my hands be all kinds of ways. It's all about cooking them. Cause sometimes they get to the point where that they don't be steady or sturdy enough. And I just start, honey, I just start dicing them any type of way. You hear me? Any type of way. I'm going to dice up these jams and we're going to bring it back. And. Y'all, look at my turkey wings. I took a little full off of them. And they're cooking. I'm going to get this how I want them to get. I'm going to add the honey and butter to them. This is my Obey honey. Turkey wings, y'all, with some side. All right, guys, I got my honey and butter right here. And what you're going to do is you're going to take this honey and butter on these Obey seasoned wings. This is going to be just like this. And you're going to put them back in the oven. This honey and butter hot. And it's just a drizzle. And you know, butter help them get tender too. Just stir it up. And just brush this and brush it. And you're going to flip them. I'm just going to put them in because they done. Let me just, we got to move things to the side and stuff to let them make sure to get everything. My green's done. Y'all, but this video is not even about the sides. This video is about these Obey honey, butter, turkey wings. Now, you want to keep eating turkey wings, you got to kind of different ways to, you know, to make it happen. Look at that. Look at that. Oh, it smells so good. Even though I didn't have that much Obey, I could taste it. Because you know me, I taste a piece of my wing. And after I brush them on, it has got that honey in it. I need some nice side turkey wings. They're not too big and big and out of shape. They're not on steroids. <laughs> These are they not on steroids. I'm gonna put these back in the oven with no little full so that glaze and this honey just can do what it need to do. Okay. Well, the honey just smell good on there. I'm gonna taste them this pool. I'm going to save a little bit so when I to do my presentation, you know, I got to make my wings look shiny. <laughs> mm, you can taste the honey. All right. Guys, this will go in the oven like for a good 10 minutes. All right, y'all, this is on step. I got my cheese squares in, my butter and my seasonings on my macaroni. I got my sauce melting. We're gonna put this together. Yeah, we're gonna put this together. We're gonna put it in the oven of 375, guys.
somebody stirred this up for me. Let me get somebody, they got more sauce in there, but I don't think I need no more. Let me get somebody to stir this up. And that's because y'all know my arthritis be kicking in. So. I pulled it, but my arthritis is kicking out. This might stir that for me. This move felt good. This move, this food smells good, y'all. Let me, um, let me get this one. 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 This is a little one. So, I need about, I'm going to say about one third. Not a whole lot. Let me see this one. There you go. <clears throat> the, um, this mac and cheese belongs to me. I see it's a little, it's a little one. Yeah, I ain't need the little one. We all gonna be, everybody gonna eat tonight. I ain't sure. Mm-hmm. You ain't sure. Y'all gonna read this? Oh, corners. Oops, sorry. Look at me, y'all. Catch the cheese on. You got to this in. Oh, Already seen to my news. Y'all, I just want to show y'all what we have inside. That's all. Oh, that's good. Yeah. I don't make homemade cornbread. This is my go to. If you use any cornbread you like, but I like this. a quick vlog. Why did I make um this is just a quick vlog. I was like, you know what? All instructions, nothing special about this. Sometimes I make this, I add some extra, um, maybe. Did I put the egg in here? Y'all. Yeah. Hey, y'all put the egg in there. Anybody in the screen, anybody in the camera say, girl, the egg's still in there. <laughs> I put the egg in there. <laughs> oh, man. Y'all get, like, 20 minutes, we got 20 minute video. Honey, I've been in this kitchen since 1030. Follow your instructions. This is some vegetable oil. And of course, who put sugar in the cornbread? I do. You can put sugar, or you can put, um, or you can put some honey. I'm going to put some sugar in my cornbread. The last of the sugar I got in here, this is not going to be a lot. That's it, that's all. That's it, that's all. Yeah, 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 my milk here. Uh -huh. I don't measure. I'm, I'm, what? Oh, what's that? It's not a cat. I know we ain't got no cat to you. All right, y'all, so this follow instructions. Oh, you're calling me. And while I get this together and stirred up, we're going to go ahead and I'm going to get my pan together. All right, guys, so this is the pan that I'll be making the cornbreads in to do what's called the cornbread bowl. Now, I must say, on Instagram, I, this is seven inches. I think they had maybe nine inch round aluminum. We're going to go about seven inch. I'm going to grease them. Now, we ain't saying everybody getting the... Um, Get the cornbread bowl, okay? Because this is just I want I, I I'm pressed to do this. I saw the video and, <laughs> and I'm just pressed to do this. <laughs> so I'm doing it if it's just for um the thumbnail presentation because I know what all the food tastes like. It just it's just a pretty sight, man. Again, not my idea. You know, I saw it on Instagram. So I had to do it. 
I had to do it. I'm gonna take some cornbread. Put it in there, just like that. And I'm gonna put it in the, I'm gonna place it in the oven. I'm gonna sit it on the tray. And I'm, I think I get about three, and that's what I'm gonna go for. In the oven on 375, and I see y'all, the microphone in the oven, everything's down. When we come back, we'll be putting this thing together, so squad. Okay, guys, my oven, my uh, thing come on when it's hot. So these ones, I, I only got two cornbread bowls, y'all. So, yeah, it's nice and it's hot. I'll put some margarine. All over this cornbread, okay? You know you gotta have butter all over your cornbread. You gotta have butter. And yeah, she put me yeah, I'm letting that butter melt. Okay. Uh, cornbread and cornbread got a good taste of butter. <laughs> Somebody said, no, have mercy. What do we have here? Yes. Somebody taste a piece of the macaroni and cheese? I did, because I, I had no breakfast, and a girl is hungry, okay? I'm going to spray that out. A little bit of honey drizzle, drizzle, drizzle my izzle. <laughs> have me that red brush right there. Oh, this grandbaby can cry again. What's wrong with that girl? What else is one This is it. I'm, I, this is just eight. Hey, everybody can ask me what because I ain't make no cornbread for everybody. I, I was pressed to make these cornbread bowls. So, yeah. I know I got cornbread. It's only two. Ain't nobody else taking them cornbread. That's y'all just getting food on y'all plate. <laughs> <laughs> so, from what I've seen in the video, you gotta cut the center part of the cornbread out. So let me get a knife. And so, guys, I took out the center part of my cornbread. Woo. You take out the center part of the cornbread because that's where the food's gonna be at. So you gotta cut. So what they're getting, and that's why I think why it's done on a bigger board, on a bigger um pan. So I'm doing a little mini baby one. So this is gonna be my mini baby one. So you got that whole center left, right? So watch this. Let's put this together, watch this. Okay guys, so this is my Obey Honey turkey wings, right? And it's sitting on top of cornbread with some string beans, macaroni, and yams. It's called a cornbread bowl. I seen it on Instagram, I'm gonna admit, there's look better because they cornbread's a little bit bigger. And you can actually see the cornbread. But guys, imagine you make this, get the nine inch, 10 foil pans. Make these obey, because it's all about the obey. Look at that. Them turkey wings, that honey. And the cornbread. Look at this. Man. Like, share, subscribe, hit that bell to be notified, guys. Until my next video, I'm gonna always try something new, y'all. Okay, go check out who my sister New Life Journey. Go check out who my son, the cooking guy. Check out my channel, You Are Not Alone, and also that Soul Tea Vlog channel, y'all. This is my Honey Obey Turkey Wings inside a cornbread bowl just it's almost about just switching up the presentation of the meal okay until next time i am out guys who want this plate ah! and look at it look